And um, Nitam, would you be uh, kind enough to uh, introduce yourself? Well, uh, thank, thank you, Adam, for this uh, opportunity. And uh, let me just uh, briefly introduce myself. I'm a media entrepreneur. Uh, I run uh, two uh, digital platforms uh, in India, uh, which are uh, Bharat Shakti, uh, dot in, which exactly is actually uh, celebrating its fifth anniversary today in India, 25th of November. We started in uh, uh, 2015 on this day. And we've come some way from there. And the second digital platform that I run is called stratnewsglobal.com, which uh, concentrates on foreign policy, international relations, strategic issues. Bharat Shakti .in is mostly on defense and uh, defense policies and acquisition and procurement. Uh, that's uh, what I do for uh, both uh, for a living and as a passion. Uh, I have been a journalist for 37 years, started in 1983. Uh, I love traveling to uh, border areas, to uh, conflict reporting is my speciality and has been my speciality, of course. I've uh, done uh, wars in uh, Kargil, a war in Sri Lanka, uh, several insurgencies. And uh, I'm an author, uh, done about seven books on military history, insurgencies, uh, biography of uh, India's first uh, uh, external uh, spy agency chief, Arun Kao, last year. And uh, before that, uh, a couple of uh, books on India's uh, defense and security policies. Uh, so that's uh, me in brief. I love traveling. Uh, I'm a cinema buff, mostly uh, Hindi cinema and Hindi uh, music. Uh, and uh, apart from that, of course, uh, I lead a team of about 15 people uh, who are uh, my best support and my uh, best uh, kind of uh, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the uh, colleagues who uh, make this two digital platforms very vibrant and uh, they're there for you to see. And I'm happy to be uh, here with uh, Adam uh, to discuss uh, maybe defense, China, um, procurements, uh, and uh, what have you. I mean, whatever Adam now. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> we've got a lot of talk about. We've got a lot of talk about. I'm so excited. And uh, I've been a fan of. Uh, Bharat Shakti for so long, and it's really been my go-to. So in America, we don't really have an equivalent, maybe defense one, but it's a, it's kind of like a combination of uh, all the defense oriented um, websites. And then you've got your own editorials there. And the way you've done it is kind of like a drudge report almost. I mean, it's just so comprehensive and I, I'm, uh, I'm such a fan of it.